All right, well, I might look like I'm equipped to go down into an old school silver mine or gold mine, but actually what I'm about to do on this little C100 Land Cruiser is put a hole in the sump. Sounds crazy, but what we're actually doing is we're just finishing off a turbo install on this 1HZ. We've been doing them for a very, very, very long time. And even this little poker, of course, has been smashed on the head that many times. It's really quite flattened out. So it shows you how many of these we've done, thousands of them. So I've already aligned it up and I've put a few dents in there already. I'll put this in and we'll knock it through into the sump and when I'm finished we'll take you down there and have a bit of a look. It's a bit of a controversial thing for some people. How do you put the hole in the sump? Well drilling it's not a good thing because you're just left with a flat bit of metal and you've got nothing to bite in with. The idea with putting a spike into the sump is that you actually take some of the parent metal in. So you end up with a little bit of boss in there and the brass fitting that we're using is tapered with a heavy thread. We arrow dyed it and that will screw in there and lock solid and tight. Once that arrow dyed sets, of course, ain't nothing gonna move it. But if you need to get it out, you can crack that arrow dyed off and get it back out of there. It's as close as it can be to the factory nipple that's in there. And what I mean by that is the casting nipple where the factory turbo fitting actually goes. Because on the Toyotas, the 1H is the 1HZ no turbo and the 1HDT factory turbo so they're still the 1H block and that means that the block and all is virtually the same so I'll go in there and we'll drive this in then you guys can have a little bit of a look at what's going on so we're just about done well that was pretty easy non-eventful there's nothing on the other side again we know where to put it in here because we've been doing it for a very long time and that's pretty much it so Next time you're going to trust your beautiful four-wheel drive into somebody's hands, make sure it's somebody that's got experience, that's done it many, many times before. And if it is done, we say turboing a non-turbo engine is extremely successful and going to last a very, very long time, as long as it's set up and tuned correctly. I'm Andrew from Berrima Diesel, and you can watch a lot more of these videos on YouTube. You can, of course, keep the entertainment going by watching me on Facebook. And of course you can go to our website at berrimadiesel.com.